M4. So just went ahead and flip flop that so that we could have all one desert tan style, which is uh, pretty cool. And then I wanted to go ahead and make an all black one. So in this case, I had to actually paint the handguard. But so there we go. There's an all black M4, uh, ultimate M4 is what they're calling them. Now, the only things I did here differently is I upgraded the spring slightly. These come with that, like I said, a 1.2, which seems to be somewhere in between a M90 and M95. So I went with M95s because I had those on hand. And then I replaced the motors too. Um, just again to a different 460 motor that um, just is probably a little more expensive, higher quality motor is all, all right? But the other thing I wanted to point out with these is if I had people ask about adding tracers to these. Now the way that this piece just pushes on the end, like there was no place to attach a tracer. So initially, um, the person who inquired I figured out, hey, let me let me make something really quick. So I put together something really quick, this piece that just pushes in, and it would allow you to put any type of threaded barrel on there. But this wasn't the best solution because as you can see, that is not a perfect circle, right? It's got some flat sides. So the nice uh, subscriber who inquired about it, happens to be very well versed in CAD and design engineering, and he recently got a 3D printer. So he made a much better version of this so that you can put threaded tips on your Ultimate M4s, and he's offering it for free. It's just for download on Thingiverse. You can go to Thingiverse and you can download it. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, there's all kinds of 3D printing services out there where they will go ahead and print it and send it to you. So just Google that. And also, if you live in any major urban, suburban area and go on Marketplace on Facebook, I guarantee you'll find somebody who does 3D printing services either out of their house or an actual business. So you can take that file, send it to them, they'll give you a quote, and then you can see how much it costs to have that done. So you can see here that I have the piece in there and it fits in there perfect. I actually went ahead and glued these in because I don't plan on taking them out at all, but of course you wouldn't have to. It should fit tight enough, but it was just when you go to take um, you know, different tips off and stuff, it may come out with it. So I just went ahead and glued mine in, but you can see obviously I have one on there. So you've got the ability now to add a tracer if you're looking to do that, and you've got the ability to put all kinds of different fake suppressors on there. So. We're gonna go ahead, we'll do a demo with them like this because the performance is gonna be different since I changed the spring. But it's also, like I said, just more consistent because of um, the motor switch that I did. And of course, we'll keep it with an 11.1 volt battery so that you can definitely see how fast they shoot too. Here's my all black one, really just put a grip on it. And I've had this, um, you know, I guess we call it, it's not even a Magwell grip. It's more just like a Magwell decorative piece with the skull on it. And since that was all black and this was all black, I thought it'd be cool to just go ahead and add that on there because that just slides on there nice and easy. So that's what we got going. So again, these are from Emmerboo. They're on Amazon. These have some mild modifications, uh, but they seem to be performing great. So check back for the demo and FPS test so you can see these ones in action, of course. And you can go to Thingiverse. I'll put that link down there. The other thing he also has done has made some really cool attachments for the M4 A1 style gel ball blaster so that you could put like uh, threaded barrels, buffer tubes, threaded buffer tubes, excuse me, on there. And this just actually clicks in just like it's supposed to. And he had a few other designs he was making for different types of stocks that you could add, like a drop stock version of these and then the other attachment that you see for uh, for buffer tubes. So thank you so much to him. Uh, and he's very kindly just offering them for free on Thingiverse. There's no cost, like on Cults 3D, sometimes you can sell the STLs and he's not doing that with these ones. So that's really cool. All right, again, comments or questions, post them below. Let me know what you think. Of course, like, subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and please participate in all those monthly giveaways.